Studnik Aquatics here. I have another cigar unboxing and while I'm doing that I am going to do a review of the Gurkha 125th anniversary cigar. This particular one is a Toro. I think it's a 6x54 I believe it is. It is a medium to full bodied cigar and while I'm doing this I'm pairing it with iced tea just because it's a hot day. Probably not the best pairing but I am thirsty. But while I'm doing this, I do have a box. It's kind of a special order that I did through Thompson Cigar. I had quite a few points for the number of cigars I bought, so I credited my points and picked up a couple boxes I've been wanting to get. So anyway, I will get this cigar lit up, and then I'll add more to this in a little bit. Okay, I do have this cigar lit now, and once again, this is the Gurkha, and this is the 125th anniversary cigar. It does say 125 on that label. It did receive some kind of an award for the label. It's very intricate. It's, it's kind of a neat label. This particular one is a Toro. It is 6x54. It's a very firm cigar on the head and the foot is, is pretty spongy. So it's kind of a soft spot in there. So we'll have to see if that affects the way this cigar smokes. This is a medium to full bodied cigar. Um, the wrapper is from Brazil. It's a beautiful cigar. It doesn't have, you know, there's light veining. Um, it's, a, it's a dark wrapper. It's kind of an oily wrapper. And the binder is a Habano binder and the fillers are from the Brazil, the Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. So it has a lot of different tobaccos that are going into it. It's pretty good. And it's really not a pairing, but I, I got off work, I was thirsty, so I'm having iced tea with this. I probably should have, you know, maybe a, a stout or a, some bourbon or something, but I'm thirsty, so I thought I'd do that. This particular cigar did receive a 94 ratings by Cigar Aficionado Magazine, and 94 is high. You know, anytime you can hit 90, that's exceptional, and when you start working away at the scale, uh, there's quite a few 90s, 91s, 92s around, but when you start looking for 94s, you know, they thin, they thin the pack pretty good. So, it is a, it's, it's a fairly new cigar. I, I don't know exactly when this came out. I received this cigar from my, my son and his girlfriend, and they bought it for me. So, it's kind of a special cigar, so I thought I would smoke it today. Before I lit it, I smelled it, and it kind of has a... A smell of maybe roasted nuts and maybe a little hay or something like that. It's a pleasant smell and it's it's a it's a very smooth smooth cigar. You can definitely taste the roasted nuts. Um, there's some spice there and I can also taste a little bit of cedar so Something else, but I'm not sure what that is. Might pick that up in a little bit. So anyway, um, I will continue to smoke this, but the main reason that we are here is so that I can do this unboxing. And I, I order quite a few cigars through uh, Thompson Cigar. And when you order cigars through them, I'm not sure if you have to be a member or what, but you get so many points. And after you build up enough points, then you get, you get a certain amount of credit at the store. And I had a fair amount of credit I thought about getting a very expensive box of cigars with my credit, add more to it, but I thought, no, I think I'll get some very good cigars, get a couple of different boxes, so that, that's what I did. So I'm kind of excited about this. Um, they didn't cost me a lot, um, but it did cost me because I bought a lot of cigars to get here. So anyway, I'm going to get the box opened up. You can definitely taste that oily wrapper. To me, when you get an oily wrapper, it kind of gives it a little different, a little different taste or something. It's, it's kind of hard to describe, but I, I really prefer an oily wrapper, and I prefer a dark wrapper, and that's what this is. I sharpened my knife, so it's doing a much better job. There's definitely spice. roasted nuts and tastes a little bit like coffee so so that's where I'm at with that so far what we have in the box is there is some packing material of course there's always that um, invoice that shows paid and the first one that I got oh, this is an exceptional cigar I, I did a review on these quite some time back 
and I really like them. And that is the CAO Brasilia. And I did get the box pressed ones. There's 20 of them in here. I believe this is five by 56 is the ring gauge on these. So this is a big cigar, but everybody I've ever talked to, anybody you read, every time I've had a CAO Brasilia, they are a very good cigar. So I do have those and we will get those opened up. Look, I've been, I've been wanting to buy a box of these for quite a while. And you know, the price point isn't real high, so, you know, I can swing it. It's when you start getting up there where it's, you know, $300 or more a box, and then that's, that, that's going to be quite a bit. I mean, okay, there they are. And those are the CAO Brasilias. I believe they're 5 by 54 or 58, something like that. And they're packed in a really nice box. It's going to look very good in the walk-in humidor. And I do enjoy this cigar. I've had a number of these in the past. It, it takes time to smoke one, but it is quality. So I'm really glad that I got that. And the other one that I ordered, I'm really looking forward to, is the Oliva. I have a box of Olivas. Uh, these are the Series V. And I have a box of the regular ones in there, but I don't have the Maduros. And this is a Maduro. I also got this in a little bit bigger size. Uh, there are 10 cigars in there, and these are 6 by 60 This is actually a double Toro, and this is the Series V Maduro. And I've had one of these in the past, exceptional, as with everything else from, from Oliva. It's just an amazing cigar. So we'll get this one opened up. Like I said, this was, this was from points that I built up through Thompson Cigar, and I was able to apply those points towards this order. So... See if we can get it opened up without taking too much time. You can taste more of the coffee now, and it's not as spicy as it was when you first lit this thing. It was a, it was a fair amount of spice there at first, but mainly it's the roasted nuts and the coffee. Maybe a hint of vanilla. But this is a good cigar. I'm. I'm really impressed with this cigar. This, this is very good. I'll have to check and see what they cost when I get on, in on that other third. This is what the box looks like. It's just a beautiful box, just like everything else from Oliva. Um, it says on there, Oliva's, Oliva Series V Maduro, a special, special annual limited production. These are uh, double Toros, and there's only 10 of them in here. So you have to make sure that you have a good reason to smoke one. It says the same thing on that end. Same thing on that end, and then of course we have the band, and then this one, and there's three bands on this thing. On the back of it, it has this right here, which is pretty cool. So, I did sharpen my knife, so this should open up a little better this time. Got that one done. There's three of them on here, so it takes a little bit of time to to get this opened up. You actually have to cut four spots. Okay. If I did that right, boy, the box the lid fits very tight, which is typical of, of premium cigars. The boxes are just amazing. And there they are. And they always have one so that you don't have to chase them down to get it out of there. This is the Double Toro. Um, it's, it's fairly expensive to get these, but I, I thought that it would... It's going to take a long time to smoke these because I'm going to have to have a good reason to do it. So those are the two that I got in my, in my box. I got the Brasilias by CAO and the Oliva Series V Maduros. So I am going to smoke this Gurkha down for a ways, turn on the news, and then I will chime back in when I get in on that second third in here on this cigar. And we'll see how this how this thing pans out. I will also look at the, what these things cost and let you know what a box price is. And also on a five pack. So I'll add more to this in a little bit. I'm on the second third of this cigar. It is burning very even. It has a well, fairly white ash. It's a little bit gray. It's packed pretty tight. Um, it does fray a little bit on the end. Other than that, the construction is very good, 
and it's not hard to understand why this has a 94 rating. This is this is a good cigar. This it's not spicy to me, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. There's a little bit of spice at the beginning to me that that kind of kind of goes away. But I've been smoking cigars for for a very long time, and so if I say I don't taste spice and you smoke it and there's spice there, don't be surprised if you're not used to smoking cigars. But this this isn't this is a very good cigar. I did look these up. You can get a box of 20 of these for $142. That's $7.10 a stick. And you can get a pack of five for $35 at $7. So it's basically a $7 cigar. And and also this is a Toro. It is a 6x54. They do make a Robusto, which would be less expensive, but most of the Gurkha cigars are larger ring gauge cigars. So I think it's a very good cigar. It's burning very, very even. You can, and when you get in on the second, third, to me, the primary thing you taste is, is the roasted nuts, and I can taste a little coffee and maybe some vanilla or something. So it, it is a very good cigar. I highly recommend it. And at seven bucks a piece, it's not too bad. I don't know that I've ever had a Gurkha cigar that I didn't like. There's a lot of different ones. There's a lot of different profiles. They make a tremendous number of cigars, and they have a very high number of those are rated very well. So anyway, that is my review of the Gurkha 125th anniversary cigar. Very good. I got this as a gift from my son and his girlfriend. I'm glad they bought it for me because it is a good cigar. I will consider getting a box someday or a five pack, something like that. And so, as always, until next time, keep smoking cigars.